Here's the first swale. And that's the entrance where we stood. So, this swale has performed very well. Very well, very well. And the size has been okay. Actually, the, when I did, made it, I thought it was big. Now I come to realize it is small. And in this first place, it's collecting sand to a certain point, and then it stops. It's like the here's the slowing down of the of the speed of the water, and it it the the sand uh, gets loose. And this sand is very interesting because. When you dig down inside, no, I don't have anything to dig with. Let us dig later. But if you dig like this one, you find inside this moisture. It's a lot of moisture. And this one is two weeks without rain. So even down here, there's a lot of moisture. So, everything that grows on this uh, swale is also very healthy and there's moisture down. Actually, like the big pumpkins, they have no problem. Even when the sun is somehow hot, they, they are quite okay. And uh, there's some grass that has grown. And I will remove in some places, but I'll wait until it, uh, it has started to rain, because when I've removed I've started to remove in some places and the other, the beans and the trees will will not like and they might die because of the hotness and you remove the, the roots, you remove some moisture. Then in this place, it's also a very interesting place because here is a bit down and here it has become, here is a lot of water have been captured and uh, has been sinking down. And it has left uh, fine particles, it has left clay. And even... Very nice. And even here, down, there is a, a lot of moisture I found yesterday when I was digging. Even it's still there. You can see even the, the difference in the... In the color. So, this place is important. It captures that the clay, and that clay I've been collecting to to make uh, now clay bowls, clay bowls that is to be where I put the seeds inside to protect the seeds when I plant them. And then, as we move forward, this place is, has not captured as much water. So I find different ways to to make this one to be more efficient and to capture the water even in the drought. But still, uh, the beans are very green and they have grown big. And you can actually compare. These beans are quite tall and healthy compared to my neighbor <laughs> who planted at the same time. My beans are twice or even three times as big. So here I've collected some grass and some 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 sticks where I will now test test to hold uh, how how well it will hold the moisture. You can even see today. And actually, it's cool. It has already changed this place, even if it hasn't rained. Even if it hasn't rained, it has changed that place completely. Yes, one day. So that one is is, is important. Another thing that I've learned. So this is like a test <laughs> test time. Another thing that I've learned. I where I put the beans was a bit shallow, so. Uh, grass has started to grow on the side, so I could have put beans in a wider space, and even the trees. And then, the grass, I've let it to grow, because it will give back now the fertility of the land. And uh, 
it will uh, it will give me if the grass becomes big it, it will give, give me some material I can use for mulching and I can really see a difference below my swale is now very much greener than above above is still a bit dry it has some problems and uh, what I want to do is also to put some small swales to capture as the water, stop the flow of water and bring a lot of manure in this place because uh, this place uh, has a lot of problem and uh, you can even see especially now you can compare now when there is a drought you can see like this amaranth like this amaranth now is, is drying and if we find an amaranth in my swale It is big and green and, and healthy. This one still have water, and those ones, they don't. So, very interesting to see. And also, this place was bare. There was no grass. One month ago, it was just bare. Small, 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 small grass. So I guess it's also recovering. Now, when there is, uh, there is some vegetation, more water will be captured, of course. Then I have an overflow point in this place and it's very green. I've let the grass to grow and that is uh, good. I have another overflow point that is so interesting because it's also very nice and green. Grass has grown but what is extremely interesting for me is to see in this place. Down here it has captured material that uh, that is floating so here is the surface of the water it goes so everything that is floating has gone here has been captured by the grass and it has started to decompose and here is now really nice soil really really nice soil starting to decompose you can see there's some fungi interaction which is which is important and uh, there is still moisture very close to the surface. Actually, they are moist in the surface. And the grass has grown very tall. As you can see, the grass is actually like 60 70 centimeters tall in some places. Uh, others is just like 40 50. And uh, it's really nice, this grass. So, this grass uh, can now be harvested for animals but I'll be harvesting it to to use in the farm so that I I will be mulching my 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 species of trees. That's the end game now. There's a lot of beans and pumpkin and whatever but the end game is trees. And here you also see there's a lot of grass growing. So I want to limit that but not not to destroy the grass. The grass is also helping right now because it's giving some shade to my trees. We can see here it's one of my trees. This is a moringa and it is healthy. And uh, if I start to remove all the grass here, it can get some disturbance because of too much sunlight and too much heat. So I guess. This, uh, if I would only have planted the uh, moringas and uh, they would not be this small bush, I guess they would not, they would not have survived. Uh, there is another moringa. It's healthy. So this is just planting from seed. This is just rainwater, and uh, I'm getting quite good results. Quite good, by the way. Then you can find I have many other trees, and here they're getting some. Oh, sorry. This one. Ah, sorry. So this one have germinated many of them, and I guess it's Spania. 
or it could yeah I guess this one is Hispania I'm yet to see another Moringa we have uh, some watermelon uh, it's doing quite okay and here now this is this is my thing here I've seen there is one tree that has germinated uh, that has not done well at all not done well at all it has been been drying everywhere I've seen it just a few places and uh, I know it can grow well because I've seen it in other places so this one this one uh, I believe okay it could be the same but it's just in the dry place but the one I've seen is not doing so well is uh, uh, I'll find the name they are, they are actually growing many of the trees they are surviving well but when they dry up like this I'll have to find a solution to to see what I can do and there's one thing that I've done and I'll show you yes and the beans are very healthy I found I just bought the beans uh, two species and then there is also green gram and I found some of these beans they are climbers so I'll have to find sticks it will not be bad it will give a good shade for the trees a good good uh, good environment so for the trees the nitrogen fixes they are here they are around they are growing uh, they're surviving and it's hard to capture maybe inside but here is one that is growing very well um, so it is Caliandra that I've seen is not done so well but uh, Leukenia Leukenia and uh, I, I guess I will get Leukenia and um, and uh, Saspania, so many of them So, the trees I will now take care of a lot is really the, the high value trees is Moringa High value trees is also watermelon But what I have not seen growing is my Popo And it could also be that I am not so sure how it looks And it can have grown and dried And I am yet to see that so one thing that I will do is this sand will have to be put in the rest of the swales because the other swales they are they are more dr they are dry. I've seen a good result, and I will also find ways of increasing the manure, uh, increasing things so that I will build the soil because I want soil that uh, is like this. All over. So with that, I will have to. I will start to 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 do that where where my trees are growing. So and uh, also watermelon and pumpkin and other things that that uh, I like to grow very well. The beans I will not care so much about them. They are just there for my protection. If they survive, it's good. They don't. Uh, that's not my concern. But my big concern is trees. So I found sacks. Sacks of sodas that I bought in town, and uh, this one will help a lot to create a very nice environment for the trees and even the watermelon. So that, so that uh, now 
they will not dry up and they will remain with the with, with surviving on the on the ring water this is a semi dry dry area so it will be a challenge but it's so interesting for me to find a way so that all the this thing can be done with uh, with with simple methods all these things can be done uh, with, without uh, needing water because then I can implement it in so many places and for so many people so it will be interesting here yeah, again it's putting sawdust for for my Trishna and that one yeah we will have to see when they grow bigger but were, as I told you, the one I have not seen to germinate, everything, there are two. Uh, but mostly it is, it is the, it is the, the purple. Anyway, so it's just to increase and then in between here is also some areas that are very dry. While others are green, here I've left grass to grow. So here I guess no water is really running. So it's just drain water and it's also has I've started to 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 build material that uh, that that uh, to to grow and and take over the surface because it was bare. And uh, next to the swale. The grass is so thick. On top of the swale where I left, there was just small, small grass. So there were grass before. So two things I believe have made it to grow so well because this thing is, is nice. Very thick, very healthy, very wet. Even there's water right now and it has not rained. And there's moisture there. And uh, so thick and so wet and I get, I get so much water from below in the swing and also they they got got to grow very fast because they were already established by while other grass had to first establish and then grow so but the beans are really helping me so it was a very nice uh, thing to to put even the pumpkin they will they will grow well and they will be all over these places in between the swales and I've already started to to also take some of the green the grass and use it to mulch my tree so that they survive better so that it becomes so that at least the soil becomes cooler but I guess this method was not the, the best but at least it is a trial. So this one I've used uh, the paper from from boxes uh, and then put grass on top. And I guess the grass method is not all that viable until I have a lot of grass because I'm cutting a lot of grass and uh, the result that I get is when they dries it is just it's just quite small. But you find it is it is protecting, it is helping. Yeah. So here I have to put sand because it is drying out uh, without that sand. But in the end, where there's small sand, it's still wet inside, and the plants are a bit more healthy. And you can see on the plants how healthy they are when you look at the leaves. Uh, so, like the pumpkin here, it has, uh, it has a lot of water. It is healthy. Uh, it is not, it's not uh, affected by the sunlight so much. But other places can need more attention, like this one. It's getting a bit, a bit strained because of this, the sunlight 
they are so hot and you see the leaves are starting to to turn and here you can see now the experiment I did here there was a lot of grass so I saw that uh, I wanted to remove the grass so that the beans will have more space but what I've come to see now in the drought when probably because of the drought when I've removed the grass I removed them by the root and it has now disturbed the this bean have become now very sad so I will not do that with the rest yeah. mm -hmm. but generally I'm very happy with the result that I've got pumpkins are so many beans are so many and then the land is now starting to re-establish itself and under the trees the grass have really picked up, there was a more grass, but I also guess they like that shade. This place is very hot in the day. It's very hot in the day. And uh, the swales have been okay, there's been one damage in that place only. And otherwise this is the overflow. Then we have another overflow. And uh, the water will come down and uh, it's captured in, in this another like a swale that was there before that I've started to to dig more and where I will want uh, almost like a dam and under it it's very very green the grass is very healthy and thick because of a lot of water And on top of this this place, new new soil was put, so new species have, have entered to stabilize that that this uh, disruption of the of the uh, of the mound. And uh, here is uh, the best place for the grass. Also, it's very very thick. And I guess there are several reasons water are captured, the, the grass was there before and also this the former uh, line for now the, the fence used to go here and the fence was made of sticks and they have decomposed and there has been no, no cultivation. But other places the land has been cultivated and uh, been disturbed so you really see that this land is so by itself so dry and so it, it doesn't uh, it cannot produce enough and that is the experience of these guys if we look at our neighbors they've been staying here for some years like 10 years and uh, they've been planting maize and beans and from the beginning the soil was so fertile and gave very big big maize and beans but now the soil is now getting to be to be less fertile and uh, the, the produce the work is more and the produce is less so restoring <laughs> bringing back fertility bringing putting species that brings nitrogen capturing the water so important so important so here I've also started to to mulch for watermelon. These watermelons are, are actually healthy. I hope they will get a lot of water inside the, the other watermelons are drying up. And uh, I see this method that I put uh, uh, these things. It's not uh, it's not viable, and I will not do it again. I'll use this this paper. From I'll use these things for other reasons, for other, for other uses, but not not to mulch because they are flying around. They also they don't look so good. The grass is also a bit small, but uh, I believe putting now. 
putting now these things will be the thing that will really assist so much the sawdust and manure also have to get a lot of manure so that will be my work for this period is to, to bring a lot of fertility remove small weeds but not too much just selective and the weed that is really really bad to grow here, I can find it this place. It is a grass that goes from one point to another. This one can steal a lot of nutrients and it invades, but uh, it's not a big problem for me. I let it grow and I will take it and I will put it in places where I need now, where I'm not growing my crops, but I need need uh, the land to to grow back like this place this place used to be a walking path yes like two months ago or oh, not really <laughs> some months ago before the rain and now it is starting to 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 establish itself again so this grass I put it when it's green, I put it here, I remove it for, from the places I don't want it and then I put it here and uh, um, if it starts to grow, it's not a problem, it's good if it doesn't start to grow, at least it will be mulch uh, <laughs> and help this place and for... for yeah so... This is uh, different compared to now the method of my neighbor. He's been removing all the grass and he's been putting it in places where he, he don't need it. Maybe in the fence uh, on other places. And he's not taking use of it. But uh, there are uses of this grass. And I will not be... In this chamber I'll only remove things by hand. There will be nothing like digging to remove weeds. I hope you have seen uh, a lot of differences. I hope you have seen it has started to grow well. Um, I hope you have seen. Uh, I hope you have learned so much from this experience. And there will be more videos as I continue with this experience to establish now uh, a nice <laughs> swales with trees. And uh, eventually, I'll also put put. Uh, are the beds where we'll grow vegetables and uh, bring water. But I hope you learned a lot. I've learned a lot. Talk to you next time.